Today we're going to talk about how to get started on Collective 2 with three easy steps. And before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have a Collective 2 account. So first simply go to collective2.com and click this join us button and simply follow the instructions. So let's say you've been following a strategy for some time and you decide you want to subscribe to it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on live, which is the button all the way to the right. And as you can see, the first step in this process is you're gonna choose an auto trade plan. I wanna add here that with any strategy on Collective 2, you're not required to auto trade it. If you subscribe to a strategy, you will get an email whenever the strategy manager does anything on the account. And if you'd like, you can manually put in the trades that the strategy manager submits. But if you want your Collective 2 experience to be completely hands-off, you're gonna need one of these auto trade plans. The first option is the solo, which allows you to trade one strategy, and that's $49 a month or $390 a year. Uh, the standard standard plan allows you to trade up to three strategies. That's $99 a month or $795 a year. Moving on to step number two, you're going to have to select a broker. And as you can see, there's quite a few options with Collective 2. The most popular broker to use by far is Interactive Brokers. And if this is the very first time you're setting up auto trade, you'll be prompted to electronically sign some documents. Once you've selected your broker, you're gonna move on to the third step, which is configure settings. So with these, you may choose to leave them in the default setting if you'd like. So the first setting you can adjust is trade management. In the case of this strategy, the strategy manager only trades futures, so you only see that one option there. But let's say the strategy manager trades all of these instruments and you only want to auto trade the futures, uh, then you do have the option to do that. You also have the option to put in a maximum trade size. So in other words, depending on the size of your live account, if you want to limit or have a limit to the maximum trade size, that is an option as well, depending on the type of instrument, mini lots, dollars, or contracts. You may also choose to allow short options or not allow short options. The next customizable setting on this list is stop losses. So if we hit modify, this allows you to select custom stop losses for positions. However, most investors are gonna simply use the default here and not modify this as most strategy managers do use their own stop losses and they have their own strategies for setting stop losses. Now the third setting is actually quite important important it's the auto trade scaling so the default scaling is 100% so that means if your strategy manager buys 10 shares of stock ABC then in your brokerage account it will buy that same 10 shares of that stock if we were to put 200% in this field then whenever your strategy manager buys stock ABC your your brokerage will actually buy double effectively doubling the size of your positions. So there's two main reasons why an investor would wanna do this. Uh, the first reason is if your brokerage account is significantly different in size than the strategy manager's account. So let's say your account is $25,000 and the strategy manager you're following has a model account size of $50,000 well, it may make sense to put in 50% for your scaling here. Another reason why you might want to have a different scaling is maybe your risk tolerance is different than the strategy managers. But again, that's up to you. So this last option here allows you to choose whether or not you wanna jump into the trades that the strategy manager already has going on or to just join all future trades. So once you're satisfied with these settings, simply click on turn on auto trade and you are done. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to use Collective 2's chat slash email support. Simply go to C2 Resources, click on Help. And if you're not able to find what you're looking for on the Help page, you can send your question to our Help Desk. Thanks for watching.